The stock apps in iOS are fine, but there are a ton of third-party applications that go way beyond what Apple endows you with out of the box. So here are five apps that go far beyond stock. The first one is the most important to me, and that's email. And I've tried a ton of email apps, never liked Apple's stock app. Most recently, I've been using Outlook for iOS, which was awesome. Previously, I've been using Cloud Magic, which is great for Android as well. But I recently found email by Easily Do Inc. And it offers the UI of the mail app, which I really liked that comes stock on iOS, but just with a ton more features. Unified inbox, customization for swipes, customization for 3D touch. My favorite feature though, is if you go to subscriptions, you can remove yourself from whatever mailing list you are on, which is the click of an X, which for someone like me who was subscribed to way more things than I realized, reduce my spam email by like 50%. I switch phones all the time. I'm jumping between iOS and Android seemingly every week. And one thing I missed was the ability to have all of my photos in one app, regardless of what device I took them on. Enter Google Photos, which now no matter what phone I snap pictures on, they're going to live on the device. No more having to sync it through a third party cloud service and sync them back on my phone. They're all just there. And a few months ago, Google added the ability to have shared folders as well, so you can share pictures of your friends, your family, your cat, your dog, with whoever you want. Let's stick with Google and jump to Google Calendar. Apple's stock calendar app is fine. It looks the same, I'm using it for years. It's functionally pretty good. I just prefer the UI of Google Calendar. It syncs way better with the Google apps that I use, and I love through the visual representation they've got. I like that the pictures show up. I've got a flight to New York coming up tomorrow, and it shows a picture of New York City in there. Just from a UI standpoint, it just looks better. And if I have to pick a calendar app, which I get the ability to do, I'm going Google Calendar. There are a ton of third-party keyboard apps for the iPhone, but my favorite, the one that I'm using right now, is actually by Microsoft, and it's called Wordflow. Uh, so first you can customize what the keyboard's going to look like, like you can do on a lot of other ones. You can change whether it's in light mode or dark mode. It gives you the ability to do swipe typing on it, which is really nice. But the reason that I like this the most is one-handed typing. Google's got it on their stock Google keyboard, which we don't have on iOS, but when it's typing on an iPhone, especially if you've got smaller hands, is awesome. A uh, bit of a caveat though, just using normal typing with your thumbs, ton of typos. If you're the kind that wants to rely on swipe gestures or want to use one-handed, then look at Wordflow. If you just bang out text like you do normally with your thumbs, then maybe avoid this one. And last but not least, Wonderlist as replacement for reminders. This one came courtesy of Brandon Russell, who's sitting right there. You can't see him. Uh, and visually, it's just more appealing than reminders. You get some of the same reminders features you have here, the ability to share lists. If you wanna have a grocery list with your wife, your girlfriend, your mom, whatever, you can go ahead and add that right here. But the way it looks is awesome. And also, I love that there's clients for absolutely every operating system I might use, for Mac, for PC, for Android. No matter where you go, you can access your wonder list. And that's been a really nice feature to have. These are just five app alternatives to stock on iOS. If you guys like these, we'll do more. We'll give you more options to replace your stock apps. We'll do one for Android if you guys want as well. Love to hear your thoughts on it. Please be kind and let us know in the comments if you have any other app suggestions for things that could replace stock or maybe you like something else and what we recommended. Let us know. I'm always looking to try new apps. And anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll talk to you in the next video.